and I have an update on RV generators in California. This is a follow-up to the last video that I got a lot of shaming on. That's okay, I understand. So let me go over that. I have found out, and I'll put the link in the description below, that the verbiage of the bill that bans the sale of new generators will include propane generators. So the only except was that diesel generators are going to be the exception for now. The verbiage in the bill actually allows for alterations by the CARB. Okay. So I'm reading here right now, there's a state powered California. So it's statepoweredcalifornia.org that's actually fighting this bill, this AB31346, okay? I'm gonna put a link down below. It's basically going to ask that the CARB make portable and RV generators not a part of the bill. I don't know if it'll happen or not, but it, it let's get online. Let's help these folks out. I mean, I've been in the RV business for 11 years, guys, and it's not gonna be fun to try to sell a coach without a generator. And it's not gonna be fun for guys like me who have a portable and have a built-in in my motorhome. What happens if they stop the sale of parts by 2028? because it doesn't meet zero emissions. I mean, they're expecting us to go get these electric generators, these runs that rely on solar or electricity to power or to charge. It's ridiculous. And if you can tell, this is not being cut back and forth. This is like a straight video today. Um, so I'm looking here, statepoweredcalifornia.org. I'll put that in the description below. And now I'll put the other one about the propane generators. Um, here's what they're looking for. They're looking by 2028. So 2024, these generator companies have to cut their emissions by 40%. Don't know how they're going to do that. I don't even know how they're going to regulate that. But apparently that's what they have to do. By 2028, they need to go to Z generators. That's Z-E-E. -E. Okay, zero emissions equipment. However, Z generators rely on battery power and electricity for charging that is not available during power outages and natural disasters. These Z units are typically five to 20 times the cost of gasoline portable generators, yet they only provide backup power for a short period of time, typically only one to two hours before the battery is discharged. Furthermore, once the batteries are discharged, they cannot be recharged during power outages without expensive solar panels or expensive spare charged batteries. Guys, so the solar panels on our RVs are not gonna charge this thing. For the reasons, the Portable Generator Manufacturers Association, PGMA, is requesting an exemption for portable generators to be in the proposal. Now this was released December 5th, okay? So I'm about 12 days behind. An estimated 1.5 million portable generators exist in California, primarily used by residents during natural disasters. Thank you, Southern California Edison. And during frequent rolling blackouts enacted by local utilities to mitigate demand on the power grid or protect against fire danger. You know, four scump says it best, stupid is as stupid does. I don't think they have a clue what they're really doing. Um, but again, I want to give a great example. I do drive Uber and Lyft and DoorDash. I've done all those things. Okay. I still do off and on. Now it's good little extra money. But remember that California tried to make them, make us employees and not contractors. And this state, when they found out what the state was doing and Uber fought it and Lyft fought it, it got overturned. So I'm gonna put the PGMA's website on this. I'm gonna put the State Power California website. Support this enactment, please. I know even if you don't like California, even if you're planning on moving out of California, help us out a little bit. 
Let's see if we can keep uh, generators and RVs, okay? Until next time, happy camping. If you do enjoy my content, please subscribe to the channel uh, and hit the like button so that way this information can spread across YouTube quick. Uh, it seemed like the last video for my small channel just exploded when I asked for that. So let's see if we can make it happen again. And then if you didn't catch the first video, that's right up here.